Taurus, how are you doing? It's time to extend your May reading out here a little bit, okay? This is a May extended reading. Just want to see if I can dig it up and get some more information. Uh, maybe pick up where I left off and see if there's anything beyond that. You never really know what's going to come through. They're fun, though, I think. Anyway, if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading, please look in the description box of this video, along with the Amazon links where you can buy every tarot deck featured here in my readings. All those links are in the description as well. You should check that out. Anyway, let's take a look at this here. What do I want to start out with? What do I want to start out with? I guess we're just going to go ahead and hop right into uh, the person you're dealing with and how they view you. How they view you. Let's see here. How they feel about you, the situation, what their true intentions are. Are there any hidden motives? Are they being all the way real? You know, all that good stuff. How's the person Taurus is dealing with feel about them? Universe, Source, Spirit. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Okay. So I think that they feel like you're very emotionally independent and like you basically don't need them. Maybe you don't. That's definitely how they feel about you. They feel like you're in it. I think they're a little bit intimidated by that, too. That feels to me like they're probably a bit intimidated. Last shuffle, last one. The tower card. Oh, man. Okay, so they're still a bit bitter. They're a little bit bitter. What They're trying to give you the silent treatment is what they're doing. Yeah, they haven't moved on from this. They they would love, they want to reconcile, but the way they're doing it is they're, I, I feel like they're trying to, they're trying to be very loud with their silence. They're trying to make a statement by being silent. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? I mean, it, it's kind of childish, honestly. Um, but they're, they're pissed off, they're bitter, and they're, they're still holding a bit of a grudge and holding some resentment. They got an attitude. They got a bad attitude towards you, okay? Um, they want to be able to reconcile, but what they're doing, the way they're going about this, is they're trying to, um, I don't know any other way to word it, they're trying, they're trying to make a statement by being quiet and pouting. They're trying to pout really loud, basically. <laughs> trying to pout really loud and hoping that that gets your attention, you know? But all in all, they do want to reconcile. They do want to reconcile. Huh. Wow. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Cups upright. Yeah, I don't really have a whole, whole lot left to say about that right there. I really don't. I want to see how you feel about them, though. Let's see how you feel about them. How does Taurus feel about this person, universe? How does Taurus feel about this person? How's Taurus feel about the person they're dealing with? How do you see them? How do you view them? Ba Boom! The Sun card. Hmm. Some of you feel like this person's doing just fine and happy and everything. Last shuffle. Last one. Some of you, you, you don't really feel like this person's doing real bad. Could be a Leo for some of you. Four of Wands reversed. Yeah, I really feel like you, you do have some things that you would like to say to this person, but you're up in your head. You don't know whether or not. Yeah, yeah. You don't. You still feel unfinished business, that's for sure. And I think that you have some things you'd like to say to them. You just don't know if that would be a very smart idea. You know, you don't know if maybe um, reaching out and communicating would open up some can of worms you don't want to open, basically. So it really feels like you view this as like basically the door is shut. I love that analogy. Y'all know I use that all the time. But like basically the door is shut on this right here. They're definitely unfinished business. You still keep your eye on them too, don't you, from time to time. You still check up on them. Yeah, page of pentacles reversed, knight of cups reversed. Okay, so you have the page. The, this page and this knight are in the upright. This page and this knight are in the reverse. So that kind of tells me that you do feel unfinished business. You're just afraid that 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 communication would open up a can of worms. That, but I really don't think. I think. Well, first of all, you do feel like this person is very, very greedy and selfish too. You know. 
But you may be under the misconception that they're doing just fine. I don't think they are. I don't think that they are. They're, they're, that's the, the energetic miscommunication that's happening here, is that you may think that they are maybe have moved on and they're doing good and they don't have a care in the world. And I don't think that's the truth, Torres. I don't really – from what I saw on that last spread right there, they're not doing okay. <laughs> They got an attitude. They're still mad at you. They're still carrying this burden. They want to reconcile, but speaking of that, let's see what actions this person is taking. What actions is this person taking towards Taurus? Universe, Source, Spirit. What actions are they taking? What actions are they taking? ba doom doom the moon card, I don't see him opening up. Could be a Pisces for some of you. Looks, well, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Nine of Cups. For some of you, this person is just going to be single. See, here's the thing, though. The Nine of Pentacles, this came out in the first spread, too. Same thing, came out in the first spread. But uh, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles reversed. So some of you are dealing with somebody who uh, is like a bum, doesn't make very much money. But either way, the two cards of independence are one's upright and one's reversed. And then that moon card there. So this person is definitely uh, putting on a front, wanting you to make them think that they're more independent and doing better than they actually are. But like I said, they're still carrying this burden. Whatever happened between the two of you, they're still burdened by it. Could be a cancer for some of you. Okay, I don't really see them coming forward, but I, I think that they're, they want you to feel sorry for them. That's what it is. They want you to feel sorry for them. Okay, could be another Taurus for some of you. I have Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus here. But um, yeah, yeah, they're putting on a front. They they want you to think that they're doing better than they are, but at the same time, that's twisted, man. That's really, that's like going in two opposite directions at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, they want you, they don't want you to know what's really going on with them, but they want you to feel sorry for them. That's a twisted, what the hell, man? What is, hermit card? Wheel of Fortune reversed. So as far as actions, I don't see him taking any action. Okay, Knight of Wands reversed, Chariot reversed. They don't want you to know what's really going on, but they still want you to, like, feel sorry for them. And they, they still are trying to make, like, uh, a very loud statement with their silence. Does that make... You know what I'm saying? Wow. As far as actions, though, I don't really see... I don't see him doing anything. I don't see him coming forward or communicating. Wow. I don't know who you're dealing with, Taurus, but let me just give you some personal advice. All cards aside, I wouldn't even mess with this person. That's just me. Just me. We're going to see here. Would it be a good idea for you to reach out? Should you reach out? Should Taurus reach out to this person? Universe? Should Taurus reach out to this person? Ooh, Page of Pentacles reversed. No, probably not. Probably not a very good idea. One. Two. Last shuffle, last one. Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, this. Yeah, I think you need to get over this. Hmm. Hold up. Six of Swords. Yeah, Tower card. Six of Swords. This is something you definitely need to move on from. Yeah, yeah. Nope. That's a dude. Whoa. <laughs> so, should you reach out? Page of Pentacles reversed. No. Okay. This isn't... This person is somebody else's problem now. Okay. This person is nothing but a burden. A burden you don't need to take on. Okay. Tower card, Six of Swords. You need to let the tower crash and burn and move on. Three of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, both reversed. No, no, you need to get over this, okay? This is not your burden to take on. 
Okay, don't take don't take on this person's drama and this person's bullshit. No, no, that's not what you need to be doing. But also, too, with this Eight of Swords in the reverse, I feel like there were a lot of red flags in the past. There were lots of red flags. So it's very important that you take a look back and see some of you, the red flags uh, just went over your head and you never even saw it. Others of you, you saw it, but you went, nope, nope, I don't see that. La, 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 no red flags. Okay, now now look back and pay attention to, to there was all kinds of things happening that indicated that this may not be a very healthy connection. Hmm. Well, I want to look at the outcome here, and I'm going to extend the outcome uh, out the rest of the year. Okay, the outcome for the rest of 2021. This goes beyond May. Outcome for the rest of 2021. Universe. Sure spirit. Mm. Lovers reverse. Could be a Gemini for some of you. No, nope, I really feel like the more time passes, the connection is going to start to feel weaker and weaker and weaker. To the point where eventually I don't even think you're going to feel the connection at all. Doesn't mean it's not there. It just means you don't feel it. You don't need to feel it because it has served its purpose. Okay, Eight of Pentacles reversed. King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Mm -mm. Six of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. I don't see a reconciliation happening. I don't see the two of you coming together. I do think you have something new coming in, though. You definitely got something new coming in. We'll read the new person, you know, in due time. But you do have something new coming in right now. But I don't really see. There's that cancer card again. It could be a cancer for some of you. But um, let's see who else. Gemini and cancer in this spread right here. But, uh, yeah, yeah, basically waste of time. Now, don't get it twisted. Nothing that ever happened in the past was a waste of time. I know that's hard to hear. A lot of you don't want to hear that. But there is something to be learned from every single person who has ever entered into your life. Every situation that you have ever been in, there is always something to be learned. Okay? Let me just, all cards aside again, let's just, you know, person to person, rich lop stuff. Do you know that there very frequently... I learn more from people who are dumber than me than I learn from people who are smarter than me. Oh yeah. Think about it. Some of the most valuable lessons that I have learned in my entire life were from people who I'm surprised you get up and tie your own shoes on your own. You know, you need to go buy you a helmet and get you some crayons because you an idiot. You a dumb dumb. Taught me more than some people who are so smart that I can't even hold a candle to them. You know what I mean? Just just some some uh, behind the scenes in my, my personal life stuff. Just think about that, okay? But no, I do think that you have something new coming in, but your number one priority right now is closing out this cycle in your heart. Okay, yep, see, you get all these healing cards here. All these cards of healing keep coming up and getting over this right here. You need to make a head over heart decision. Okay, this is advice coming out now. Oh, oh, okay. So any attempt at reconciliation? This is one of those types of connections right here with the judgment. This is one of those types of connections that it's divine intervention. There was nothing accidental about the two of you coming together, and there was nothing accidental about the two of you separating. The separation was supposed to happen, okay? The whole plan from the get-go was to come together and depart. And you know the reason why the other side does that, right? Why, why we and the other side plan connections out like that to come together and separate? Because we humans are still under the misconception that a romance is the most important thing in this life. You know, I'm not anti-romance. You all know I'm very happily engaged. I'm very for love and romance. But we have been programmed to look at it the wrong way for decades and decades and decades. And we put it at the top of the priority list very frequently when it needs to be a few slots down. You know what I mean? Because that's the way that we think, a lot of times, in order to get... You want to get a human's attention? I'm talking from the spiritual perspective. You want to get a human's attention if something needs to be done. Send a lover. 
I don't care who you are. I don't care what your sign is. I don't care if you're an Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, or green. I don't care if you're gay, straight, or whatever else there is out there. It doesn't matter. Don't care. You want to get a human's attention? Send a lover. That'll get a human's attention every single time. And I think that's what this was. The connection between the two of you has served its purpose and the cycle is complete. Your number one priority is healing up from this and then something new will come in. But you want to make sure that you're healed first because if you're broken, when a person comes into your life, the only thing that they will do is match whatever frequency you're on. And if you're on the frequency of being broken, they come into your life, they match that frequency. Then what happens between the two of you will complement that frequency. Not fix it, not heal it, not make it go away. See what I'm saying? Anyway, Taurus, I do feel like that was your message. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you who tuned in and played along, and those of you who continue to tune in, play along, and show love, support, and positive feedback every day on my channel. Makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube. I love it, y'all. Don't forget to look in the description box of the video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.